Hello and welcome to the next game in the Delta Force series, Delta Force Task Force Dagger. Now I believe this is the first Delta Force game to actually uh, use historical, or at least at the time, ongoing events as the setting for the game. And they do this a bit in, um, in Black Hawk Down later on, uh, before they return to their fictional campaigns with Black Hawk Down's expansions and later on with Extreme 1 and 2. So, let's just do a quick check here. Everything looks good. And uh, we'll jump right into the game. Uh, oh, one thing I do want to show off is these are all the uh, characters you can be. So in the last game, you could be one of five characters, I think. Like, um, Gas Can or Snake Bite. But uh, here your character, quote-unquote, is uh, which special forces organization you want to play as and uh if you watch the manual then you know they have quite the array including some less commonly seen ones at least in video games uh obviously the bulk of them are american but you get the canadian jtf2 sasser which is australian yeah australian special air service regiment uh the british sas of course so but uh for this playthrough and because i don't think um, because I don't think the, um, the campaign changes at all, and since the series is called Delta Force, we're gonna play as, uh, a Delta Force operator, so. Uh, do 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 do, -do. we'll worry about that later. Ooh, you can up your scope sensitivity. It's always a nice feature when games give you separate, uh, sensitivities for normal gameplay it scope so we'll just put that on hard and everything else the same ma oh message macro so yeah we don't need that since we're not playing multiplayer so uh we'll go into quick mission one which we see is boot camp mission data training and preparation for deployment viper 33 is to deploy by helicopter from the former soviet air base at kanembad to kakiri where it will Zero weapons, practice demolitions, test SOF laser markers, stand by for deployment. But it looks like they're using some uh, real life photography uh, as, or maybe it's not real life photography, but just really well done. Because this definitely looks like stuff you'd see in like a mission briefing or something. Granted, I wouldn't know, but. Baker Man. Oh, that must be day one or something. I'm like, Baker Man has always been under U.S. control, but this is a pre-occupation, I think. Or at least the bulk of this is. So, and I don't know uh, how many of these are... Yeah, I don't know how many of these are actually based on real operations. I'd have to look that up, but... Uh... In any case, uh, let's get started with boot camp here. Overview. U.S. objectives are to acquire intelligence and terrorist resources, develop relations with groups opposed to the enemy, to prevent the use of Afghanistan as a safe haven for terrorists, and to destroy the enemy military, allowing opposition forces to succeed in their struggle. Viper 33, as part of Task Force Dagger, is to conduct training operations in preparation for deployment and standby for warning orders. Whatever those are, so 
Let's see, I believe it still lets us... Ooh, nice, we get the 3D model now for all of this. So that's a nice little update. Uh, they do make a note of putting the different weights in there. I'm wondering if weight will affect mobility at all. Probably not, but... Uh, ooh, added a few. Let's suppress. See... They don't have scopes on the M4, so yeah, the OICW is, uh... Really? I want I find that hard to believe, because supposedly the OICW only weighs 2 pounds more than the M16A2 with M203. Which, considering all the electronics in there, is, uh, isn't a bad deal, but... I don't know. This is back when it was actually in development, so this might have been just the number they were trying to design to and the actual system weighed like 20 pounds or something, maybe. Uh, you can see our secondaries here. So this is MP5, MP5N, technically, I think. Uh, you can see the integrated suppressor there, how it makes the weapon super blocky, because it takes up like the entire length of the barrel. So this is... Uh, or is it basically an F-88 Oster um, that's been rechambered for uh, 9mm. So, that kind of reminds me of, was it the, uh, wasn't the, the Colt Para, I think it was called maybe, but it was basically an, M an M4 rechambered and redesigned for 9mm, so you had basically a baby M4, but it was kind of cute. Um, I guess we'll just take that as far as pistols. Tocum silence, block, routing, sag. Right, we'll just take this. I think this is what we'll always take. Uh, we'll use all concussion. They have concussion grenades now. Uh, Okay, so the concussion grenade is basically just the delayed frag grenades from the previous game. Uh, so we'll take that so we don't kill ourselves. And these are the new satchel charges, claymores, which we, I think we used them only once or twice in all of Land Warrior, in all of the series, really. And then we can choose between extra ammo or body armor. Probably always choose extra body armor, so. So with that, uh, let's dive in and go through boot camp. So it looks like we finally have two pilots and an actual cockpit uh, in that they just put a photo in there and I uh, can't apparently get any closer than that, so. We can almost see out the windows. I don't know why that one's all uh, messed up, but. There's the United Nations flag, since this is technically, uh... Shooter, move to range alpha. I guess that's us. Uh... Okay. Yeah, 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 I have limited fall damage. I guess that's supposed to be our drill sergeant. Uh, range alpha. Ha, ah, right here. Let's Shooter. see. Knock down all targets in the range. Fair enough. Uh, normally there's like a, a stopping place? Which... Which lane is supposed to be mine? Or are these all three mine and I'm just supposed to zero it for different ranges? Go to the front 
position for better accuracy. I know how to shoot. Ah, I missed a shot, but that that's scopeable. Okay, so Hey, a truck, and the one time it uh, probably won't be hostile. <laughs> oh, Desert Hawks, nice. Okay, wait, more long range stuff here. Use the 50 cal machine gun for this target. Oh, that's recoil. I think in the last game there was no recoil for the mounted weapons, which is kind of an oversight. Uh, fortunately, I can't zoom in, but... Cease fire! Cease fire! Range is no longer clear! Move to range Bravo! Okay, uh... Bravo we go then, but first... Here, I'll just pull out my knife so no one feels threatened. Little baby knife. Alright, let's look at this baby. So... Oh, the HUD mostly obstructs their view, it looks like, at, or at least their instrumentation panel. Oh, there we go. Uh, guys, I think your, uh, I think your, uh, cockpit's installed the wrong way. Uh, just, just a thought. <laughs> and I can barely make out United States Army on there. I mean, they're making progress. These are definitely more... A fair bit more detailed than the Blackhawks in the last game. Um, maybe they should have reconsidered using a sprite for this, or at least using, you know, two of them opposing and not have them see through like that. Like from some, you know, early 90s game, but just my opinion. Oh, hey, we can walk. That's nice. We'll probably very rarely use that. So it looks like we got a bunch of uh, storage here. God, this checkpoint is a ways away. Too bad they don't have like a tram system. Oh, you know what? This this must be the mount uh, course for uh, learning how to clear buildings. Oh, I guess it just got really windy here. <laughs> or maybe that is... I don't know. Because these... So those buildings did look sunken in a little bit in the sand. Dirt or whatever this is supposed to be. Ah, oh, we're almost to Bravo. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks like a mouth shoot house. I don't even know what they still call it that. I just remember that from, uh... America's Army Days back at with uh, V2.5 Special Forces Mobile Operations in Urban Terrain. Knock down all the targets on this urban course of fire. Oh god, this sounds like the uh, ump from the last game. And normally there's like a timer for this, but... Gotta check your corners, not shoot the civvies, you know, all that good stuff. And it becomes a little competition of who can clear the fastest. Hello! Okay, no one else is in here. Let me just hop over your corpse. Bah, bah. Oh god, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's clear. I'm sure there's someone up here. No, really? Wow, I would have put someone up there. Oh, missed one. There we go. Cease fire, cease fire. Shooter, lock and clear your weapon. Move to range charge. Really? That's all of them? There's still a whole nother building to clear. And I'll admit, I, I'll be the first to admit I did that real sloppy. But uh, they don't really, they aren't really putting a lot of pressure on me either. Like if I could ever get America's Army V2.5 working even like an offline mode or something, since I don't think it works online anymore. Oh, I would love to go through all the boot camp for that again, because that was amazing. Anyways, off the range Charlie, so I think that's our explosives course. Oh no, it's our... Oh. 
Oh, do I have to jump over this? I thought that was a crawl. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fit enough to jump over it. <laughs> oh, I'm too fat to crawl in it. Why am I special forces? <laughs> At least I... Oh, God. I just fall right through, huh? But, yeah, it's supposed to be like a little physical fitness course, I think, for soldiers to train on. I guess they're assuming we already know how to, uh, how to walk and crawl. Oh yeah, ambient sounds definitely a lot better than the last game. Or maybe that's just my new sound card, I don't know. Because I did- the two trucks using grenades or rocket launchers. Uh, dude, this is an active range. You might not want to be here. Alright. Cease fire! Cease, Cease fire. fire! The range is clear for lasing. Aircraft are inbound and hot. Okay. Rece oh, that target. Call in an airstrike on that target. Uh, let's see, I got a... Is this the key? There we go. Questing close air support mission, over. Cass is inbound and hot. Now we just gotta wait our standard 15 seconds. I do like the, uh, the new Oh! Do they actually have jets come in? Oh, that's awesome. Cease fire! Cease fire! The range is no longer clear. Move to LZ for transport. Thank you, Mr. Hornet. I wonder if they'll rotate, like, through different models, or if it's just always gonna be an F-18. Question is, Marine or Navy? <laughs> if it were, uh, if this were taking place in the Occupation Era, I'd easily say Marine since that was a Legacy Hornet. Uh, and only the, Mar the Marines have been the only ones in the U.S. to operate those for a while, but, uh... But in this, in this era, it's still a toss-up. I mean, hell, the F-14 was still in active service. Afghanistan was its second to last campaign where it served as uh as a the bomb cat as they called it, so good shooting soldier. Congratulations on completing this phase of your training. You're to report next to the field headquarters of Task Force Dagger. Dagger out. Uh I'm sorry, what's that friendly dot that's just passing around me? But uh in any case we easily passed the training, so there is that. I cannot jump onto this because that will replay the mission, and I hate that. <laughs> but I don't want Spacebar to not be jump, you know. Because, I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> In any case, uh, let's end our mission here. Alright, so that was the first mission, and I gotta say, I'm already liking the improvements that they made over um, the Land Warrior game. So I'm looking forward to a lot more uh, features in the future. I know we've only, sorry about that, I know we've only scratched the uh, surface here because we have, um, you know, like the UAVs and stuff to delve into yet, and they ain't even... I was kind of hoping they'd refresh our memory in the boot camp, but uh, I guess we'll have to refresh our memory out in the field. So, in any case, I think that will conclude our operation for today. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.